All right, guys, I'm starting to think that all eBay sellers, at least of small padlocks, are experts in macro photography. I think we ought to start an underground movement that says something along the lines of, if you list a padlock on eBay, you have to say what the dimensions are. I know certainly I'm learning a lesson. This is the third time that I've been fooled by these close-up pictures that made me believe I was getting a really, you know, medium or large size padlock, only to find something like this in my mailbox. I mean, you could fit this in an envelope and pay a standard stamp to ship it. Just, if they had showed the key, eh, you might have been clued in. I mean, it's a little out of proportion there. This is a little pedo. It's got a wonderful logo on the front of this thing. A little eagle with sunburst radiating. No other marks on the lock. On the key, we see the pedo logo. And then on the back side, you can see it's actually Brazilian. Uh, so in Portuguese, and it's great bidding on this little guy. So if everything else went wrong, at least they got the bidding right on this guy. Uh, I don't know that I'll be using this on a suitcase, but I did try it. It's a little stiff. It does work. I don't have any idea how old this guy is. It works perfectly. Uh, looks like it's locked on one side. I thought, you know, it might be neat to shim, uh, but I don't have a shim tiny enough. At least it's tight enough. I probably couldn't get it down in there anyway, but... Since it's only a either a three or four pinner, it sh shouldn't really be that difficult to pick our way in there. Um, I am going to try to use top of the keyway, despite the tiny little keyway. I think we can use either the 1.2 millimeter, the red one, that doesn't go in there very or the one millimeter, which is the white one. That one does fit perfectly. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. And I'm going to hold him. Hopefully, like this. And maybe, and just hold them just in there like that. I, I think if I didn't play the guitar, my fingers probably wouldn't be strong enough, but I think I can wedge them in there just like that. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Not too much. That's about all we're gonna get. It's a, I almost need a macro lens myself. All right. Um, I'm going to use this guy. This is the pick I used to give you an idea of the scale. I don't think it really matters because it's a pretty straight shot. So any 25,000th pick should be able to get you in there. Or 15, really doesn't matter, I don't think. Okay, I've got moderate tension on my thumb. i got a binder right there. Tiny click. Binder right there. I felt a little movement on the core. Little pick right there. Click. And number four, tiny little click. Touch one again, and there we go. I think we got to open. And there we go. All right, guys. Anybody that wants to join my movement, I mean, just send an email to Google to uh, eBay that says you ought to have to put the dimensions when you when you use macro photography to give people an honest idea of what it is they're buying into. So there you go, guys. The Pado Micro Lock. I have no idea what I'm going to use this for. I'm certainly not going to use it on a suitcase. Anyway, I appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.